All right, quick update on the 3D printer. Uh, I went to go print some parts recently for the O-Drive episode, and I was having a ton of trouble. The thing was uh, was clogging on me and all kinds of things, so I pulled it apart, and it looks like my heat break. Uh, it's got a Teflon tube in it, and I've been pushing ABS through it at like 235 degrees C, which is probably more than the Teflon was meant to handle. Um, so I ordered a few new parts. I've got a, a stainless steel heat break, a titanium heat break uh, that has no insert. It's all metal, so we're gonna try those out, and as long as I'm at it, I figured I'd add some lights. And for that, I got these. Um, they look like uh, regular strip LEDs like you've seen me use in the past, but you'll notice the LEDs on these um, are actually mounted a little high, and that's because they are side pointing. So um, this is really good if you, if you want some flexibility in these directions and still want the light to go out that way. So let's install these and see how they look. Holy cow, these things get bright. All right, a few small things to take note of if you're doing this at home. Uh, first of all, these LEDs, uh, they don't give you much room to solder to these connections, and they're right next to the connection to the LED, and you would think that circuit board would probably just be a direct connection between these two, but it's not. In fact, if you connect these two, none of the lights will turn on. Uh, I'm not sure if it's shorting out or what, but <laughs> ask me how I know that. Uh, also, um, these are stuck to aluminum, which is of course conductive. This is anodized aluminum, it shouldn't be conductive, but if there are any scrape marks on there, um, you're running that risk. So um, I put a little bit of electrical tape on the back here. I'm also gonna be running some zip ties through here like this, just to make sure that that adhesive doesn't fail and the whole thing comes up. Um, the smart thing to do would probably be to put some hot melt glue over those connections or even some uh, heat shrink tubing. Which I may do, actually. One second. Alright, the next thing I've been meaning to change is the location of this extruder. Um, this was quite accessible before I put the uh, Lazy Susan on top that holds the filament, but now that that's there, this is a pain in the butt to get to, so I'm going to move it up to the top instead.
right, the next thing we're gonna change out is the heat break. Um, I got this titanium heat break from Amazon. Uh, I'm not really sure if titanium is necessary, but I figured if I was gonna get a solid metal heat break, um, might as well go for the good stuff. Not sure if it'll make a difference, but we'll give it a try. I also got a fresh brass nozzle. I'm switching to a 0.5 millimeter nozzle this time. Um, we don't need really the amount of detail you can get from a 0.4 and I'd like a little quicker prints. I also got a new Bowden tube. Um, this one's a little tighter tolerance than the one I have before, so retract should be a little cleaner. I also needed a longer one because I moved the extruder a little further up, so let's put these on. All right, before we pull the hot end apart, a uh, huge thanks to JD for sending me the Nipex pliers. Uh, these things are totally awesome. Um, I think he's got a YouTube video he wants me to link to, so that'll be down in the description. All right, this print was done at uh, 0.3 millimeters, so this is kind of more about speed than it is about detail. Uh, that being said, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure that titanium heat break is really uh, doing anything for me. Uh, it's probably a bit more durable than the regular steel one. Um, I'm not sure it's worth the extra price, but uh, yeah, it, it seems to work fine. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Um, if you guys are wondering what's going on with the surface grinder, we're definitely still working on that. Uh, just taking a little bit of a break to work on a few other projects. Uh, we also got a brand new tool, and I can't wait to show you guys that. Uh, that video should be posted in the next week or so. Um, but for now, that's going to do it. See you guys. Oh, uh, Alexander? Thanks. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, Dad looks like an idiot. <clears throat> All right. So this is a lot to have on my face at one time. <laughs> <laughs>